I arrived over to Villages of Briggs Ranch. This is on the west side of San Antonio off of 90, just outside of Loop 1604, a couple miles. It's a luxury property. They've got one to four bedroom apartments. So they've got a two bedroom model we'll go inside and take a look at. Stepping into the leasing office, they've got a pool table to the left. Got a TV, a couple TVs. Got some music going in here. Oh, they've got a few TVs actually. Um, okay, you can use this area. This might just be for show though. Got a little refrigerator. They do have a coffee machine over here that I saw. Right here, yeah. So you can come into the leasing office. You can use this if you wanted to get hot water. They've got some teas. You can uh, touch here to begin, and you can pick your poison. Okay. So this is the hangout area. To the right is the leasing uh, desks and offices and stuff. So that's where that is. Got the pool out here, which we'll go out there in a second. So uh, this property uh, does pretty good on their amenities. They got a tanning room. I don't know if it's open. It is open. Yeah, so you can come in here if you don't like tanning outside and you can use their tanning room. They've got some uh, disposable eye protection, some water you can coat yourself with. Let me shut that all the way. There we go. Okay, here's the business center. So if you prefer PC, they've got two PCs. Uh, they've got a couple printers actually, you can scan, um, make copies or whatever you want to do. And then they've got two Mac computers on this side. It's a Saturday right now, and they're not being used. So, uh, that's not too terrible. We've got a restroom right here, men's and women's, right outside the fitness center. Take a peek at that. Okay, so they've got free weights, they've got some machines. Got some gentlemen in here getting some work done. Okay, they've got a, a Smith Machine bench. Free weights over here. So it goes up to 55 there, and then they've got them all the way up to 80. So they've got up to 80 pounds. Plenty adequate. They got a bench right here you can use. It smells good in here, it's nice and cool. And they got these like cable machine, this cable machine. So if you want to do flies or whatever you want to do, they have some massive speakers in here. I don't know how you get those the music playing, but you can see that there's one. We got another one on the other side. Okay, and then they've got treadmills. They've got some bikes. Got some ellipticals. And uh, the whole time you got a view of the pool, which I think we can go see right after I hit the exit button. I don't know if it's gonna work. There we go. Okay. Okay, right outside the fitness center by the pool, they've got a little, um, little hangout area. They've got another one down here. Here we go. So if you wanted to come outside, just hang out in the shade, you could do that. Or if you wanted to enjoy the pool, you have access to this. So we've got two gas grills over there, and the pool is pretty big. It sort of winds all the way around. You got a, a kids area over there. You can see. Let's see if I can get in here. Oh, it's open. Okay. Yeah. So if you wanted to bring your kids along, it looks like the deepest part is four and a half feet. Over towards the end, there's some sweeping views. Not bad. We're just coming out of winter. It's like the first few days of spring. So it's getting kind of warm here, but they do have a fireplace. So if it doesn't get cold, you can light that up. You just have to ask the leasing office. They can do that for you. But yeah, so there's where your little kids could play. It's a foot and a half. And then it goes down from four and a half on this side all the way to three foot three inches over there. This is the mail room. So this is where you would come to get your mail. It's out, it's inside, no, it's, it's just outside the gates. 
You got a gate right there. There's the entrance. And uh, yeah, so when you pull into the community, you just want to park and grab your mail or you can walk depending on where you are on property. But this is what it would look like. Big packages will probably be in the leasing office. They may take them through and put them at your door. Something that uh, you may want to consider. But if you have small packages, yeah, then they'll just put them in here. They'll put a key in your mailbox and then you can just grab them that way. Um, yeah, but the, the mail for the entire community comes into this room right next to the leasing office. All right, on to the next. They do have attached garages. Looks like one and two car attached garages. Let's see if I missed the unit. Nope, that's 4104. Um, yeah, so they do have attached garages on some of the units. Not all of them are gonna have that. But then... Knock, knock. No one's here, all right. So I'll post on the screen the dimensions and uh, the pricing and stuff on this one. This is the model, so it's gonna be furnished. They do not have furnished units at this property. Um, and I believe they just provide the washer and dryer connections. But uh, yeah, so here's the little laundry area. You've got your guest bath right here, it's full size. Got your shower head, little uh, linen cupboard you can use there. And then there's some bedroom access as well. So single vanity in this one, a couple mirrors, and then they do have a little medicine cabinet. This is a queen size bed. So you can see what that looks like. I do like the little area right there. So if you're a reader or you like to study or something and you want the sunlight, you could always just put like a pillow or something there and kick back or if you want to read a book or however you want to do it. So that is a queen size bed. A king would fit, but it would be a little tight in this room. That being said, you've got a pretty small closet as well. So it's just one shelf. That's that. But then on this side, you do have the, uh, well, they just have like a little stand or whatever this is. But uh, and then actually there's no ceiling fan in here. You could always buy your own and then the maintenance professionals or like the maintenance guys here could install it for you. Or you could install it yourself. You would just probably have to take it out when you go to move out. But that's just something to keep in mind. And then, uh, yeah, there's no ceiling fan over here. Reason I make mention of that is because it does get pretty warm here. The air conditioner's on, so it feels cool. Um, but sometimes it's nice to get the fans going. All right, there's the kitchen. Black appliances. You do have a pantry with a door. So there's that. Floor to ceiling. And let's see, oh, opens on this side. Okay, this does have an ice maker. So you don't have to worry about that. Got some waters. Or, you know, whatever you want to keep cool. Decent amount of uh, counter space. And storage as well. It does have a dishwasher. Standard uh, stainless steel sink. There's the living area. If you had a big dining table, as you can see, they have one right there. Uh, a big one would fit. You'd probably be better suited to just have a smaller table. Um, yeah, because otherwise you'd be somewhat squished. And then if you had a sectional, you could always, you know, do it there and then run it down and then even you could come out. Uh, it'd be a little tight there though. Another thing to know is that the patio is not enclosed and I don't see any storage out here. Not the largest patio. I mean, this is the model, but just taking a look. I mean, they do have, yeah, so the bottom floors are not enclosed. Um, but if you had an animal or something, you had a dog or whatever, you could just let it out right here and kind of run around. Probably want to keep it on its leash unless it's well behaved. Okay, now we'll check out the master bedroom. They are pet friendly property. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that, I think that's still a queen size bed. Does not look like, yeah, that's queen size bed. Could easily accommodate a king. 
whether you wanted it up against the windows there or however you wanted to position it if you wanted to do it the way they have it. Okay, so a good sized master closet. Top and bottom on both sides. This one's a little bit shorter, but uh, still very adequate as far as spacing is concerned. And uh, this is a first floor unit, but as you can see, it's hardwood floors throughout. So if you wanted carpet in the bedroom or something, they may have that on the upper floors. As far as the first floor goes, this is what it's gonna look like. Double vanity in here, nice big mirror. You've got a stand-up shower and a tub. So if that's something you're looking for. One consideration to make is the toilet is not in its own little area. So uh, if there's more than one person in here, you may wanna be comfortable doing your business around someone. Um, the other thing is they do have the lights on in here, but it's a pretty bright day outside. But there's plenty of light coming in. Even without these lights on, it would be plenty bright. Now in the living area, it would probably wouldn't be quite as bright, but they do have the um, window blankets, or the window curtains, rather. My wife hates it when I say that. Um, but I'm from the country. Oh, okay, it looks like this one actually does have an attached garage. Yep, here it is. So if you had a single uh, attached garage, this is what it would be like. So you would be able to just pull into your garage and then, uh, yeah, you could walk inside. Um, the water heater is located out here. That's not something you would ever really need to know unless it breaks down. Um, but then you would just contact the leasing office and uh, put in a maintenance request. You can also, uh, you can park one car outside of the garage. So you sort of have two reserved spaces. So that's something to know. There are some stairs to climb. So, um, you know, if you have trouble with that, if you're on the first floor and you park in your garage, you would have to take those stairs up. And then, yeah, that would be your front door. And then walking in, you would have the kitchen and the living area off to that side. Yes, yeah, so this was their two bedroom model. And uh, if you feel like these videos are helping you, uh, if you decide to lease here or lease at another property that I've toured, the only way I get paid is if you actually uh, list me as a referral source. So if you wouldn't mind just taking a second to look out for that when you're applying or when you're registering an account to apply, uh, and then letting me know that you applied because the properties won't tell me. They don't, they don't care to pay me regardless of whether I'm referring people or not. So um, if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would really help me out and it would keep these videos coming to you guys. If you have a property that uh, you want me to tour, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and in the description, I'll have a link to a form that you can fill out so I can get you going on that. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. This was the Villages of Bridge Ranch. I'll see you all in the next one.